here and uh, throwing the spro bucktails. Casting them out basically as far as I can out in the middle of the channel here, letting it sink a bit, working different levels of the water column. So some of the casts I'm retrieving right away, some of the casts I'm trying to let it sink towards the bottom before I bring it in, trying to see where these fish are hiding, where they're hanging out, um, where they might be sitting at this stage of the tide, and then basically just swimming it along, pretty steady retrieve, every so often popping it, just to give it that little extra bit of life, perhaps to uh, trigger a strike from a fish that's following and hasn't quite committed yet. But you can see, I mean, it's extra thick, so that keeps for equal weight head to equivalent bucktail the same weight, it's gonna stay a little more buoyant in the water. It's not gonna sink as fast. So you're putting off a bigger profile. So if you've got large, uh, wider bodied bait fish, mullet, small peanut bunker, mid-sized bunker, that shows off a much better silhouette versus a thin, sparse tied bucktail, which would better suit a silver side or a sand eel, for instance. I like them. I like the assortment of colors they have. Got a really nice hook on them. Uh, shouldn't have any problems with the hooks at all. Like the eye up on top like that. Uh, I think they, they're good. They'll catch fish, no question. So Sid, we've been throwing these for a while here in Shinnecock, but do me a favor. This is one of the old ones, I, an old Spro bucktail that I have in my bag. You can see the noticeable difference. Yeah, well, okay, basically what you got here is the prime bucktail. This is the first bucktail that we ever came out with. And as you can see, the line ties a little bit further in the back. Right. You have a little bit smaller hook here. This is made for vertical jigging for fluke. Good for fluke. Uh, where we came out with this one right here, which is basically our power bucktail. And this is one that we made for stripers and other large game fish. And what we've done is we put a bigger hook in it. This is a 4X strong hook. And then we put a bigger line tie so you could tie 80, 100 pound fluoro for bottom fishing, or you can put one of these clips through it. Extremely easy for striper fishing. So you could do, you could vertical jig these. But, oh, absolutely. But I mean, they're really nice for casting, coming at an angle through a jetty, like, you know, along a jetty like we're doing. Absolutely. So you have this uh, line forward right here. So when you pull on it, it's going to pull nose up to get this out of the rocks. Gotcha. So that, that's, that's what really, uh, with putting that line tie forward, really gives you a little different action. Let's see if we can float it into a mouth of a striper. That's the plan, man. <laughs> Let's do it.